I think sometimes it still doesn't get to me, but you have one life. One life to be happy, to have fun, talk to strangers, dream big, enjoy the little moments, learn the lessons you still have to learn. And this year is just another chapter in this journey of yours. So it's time to make changes, identify your struggles, and help yourself get closer to your dream life. And this change, it starts here, right now. Good morning, good morning, you guys. How are we doing? So in today's video, I decided that I want to share with you the lessons that I'm aware of, in a way, but I know I have to implement them into my life. So basically, I am struggling with something and I know what I need to do to change it, but I just don't do it because like, I don't know, I just can't be bothered. This is the situation. So I decided that maybe me sharing it with you will be kind of a way to keep myself accountable and also just inspire you guys because, you know, it's going to be kind of like a food for thought kind of situation. You know, we can just inspire each other. You can let me know in the comments what are your lessons that you want to finally start implementing and yeah, we can make it work. So guys, without further ado, let's get straight into the first lesson, which is be the person you want people to see you as. I've always been the type of person who is like two totally different versions in two totally different settings. So the first setting is, you know, I'm in a new place, I don't know anyone, or I know like one person, you know, it's just a new environment. And the other situation that we're gonna be talking about is when I'm with my friends, with my family, with people that I know. So basically, in the first situation, the version of me that you're gonna see is a very shy, kind of introverted, quiet person who really struggles with meeting new people. Whereas the version with my family and friends is literally just crazy, loud, and very talkative, open, you know, to talking and everything. They're kind of the opposites, right? And what I want to do this year is just kind of start looking at it in a way of like, this person is a stranger, this new person that I just met or I'm about to meet, they're a stranger. They don't know anything about me. Basically, where it came from, that recently I listened to this podcast. I'm gonna link it somewhere here. Actually, I'm gonna link it in the description down below and I'm gonna put it on the screen right now. And it made me think because the girl said that the person does not know you don't know anyone in the place. You're just a stranger to them. So it is your role to paint that picture of who you are for them. So why not take a chance and paint that picture in a way that I truly want to be perceived as a talkative, as a very open and positive person who, you know, is more like on the extroverted side. Because the thing with me is that I'm an extroverted introvert. That's how I call myself. So basically it's just like, I enjoy my alone time. I like my alone time, but at the same time, I love surrounding myself with people and you know in my head i i have this version of me where you know i'm all the, the crazy type you know the type that i that i am with my friends with the closest people to me and i feel like i don't show it enough with new people with strangers and that's what i want to change this year so this year is my year to open up to people to meet new people to take that chance take that leap of faith in me and just kind of look at it as in a way of okay I see this person, they look great, I think we could get along, so I'm gonna go talk to them. If it doesn't work out, that's great, that's that's okay, it's fine. I, I have so many people around me that I can still talk to and I can meet and I'm sure there are some amazing people around. So why not just try? If it doesn't work out, that's fine, it's not gonna change anything, like you're gonna be in the same situation you were before you talk to them, right? So this is something, this is the first lesson I want to implement in 2023. And now let's move on to the second one, which is every second you spend on comparing your life to someone else's is a second spent wasting yours. So stop comparing and create your own definition of success instead. So if you know me, you know I am so bad with comparison. Even though I work in this space, you could call it, that is highlighting how harmful it is, how harmful comparison is, I still struggle with it a lot. And I'm gonna say it openly because I know so many people, you know, see you online and they're like, wow, they have it all figured out and they are amazing, they are happy, they are just succeeding. And it's not always like that. It's most of the times it's not like that, it's just that people don't talk about the struggles. The thing that annoys me the most about my thoughts 
is that I kind of just automatically assume things about people. I assume things that are not maybe very obvious, but I'm just like, okay, I see you, I like you, I like what you're doing. And I kind of think like you're doing the same thing as me. So um, I'm assuming that, okay, you have the same goals, you have the same life, you have same, the same everything. And that is my big problem. I compare myself to someone who in reality can have completely different goals than I do. But yet I'm just like, okay, you are doing better than me. You have the same goals and you are doing better than me. What am I doing wrong? I'm doing nothing wrong. I'm just thinking wrong. Our circumstances, our goals, our lifestyles, our opportunities, they are all different. They are all unique. And you can't compare yourself to someone else because it's just like comparing the sun to the moon. There is no comparison. And if you make one, it's gonna be very inaccurate because you don't take all of those different factors into account. And the thing is, like, you can be like, okay, but I do. I do take those things into account. There are so many different factors that it's impossible to take, to take them all. And it's impossible for them to be similar for two different people, okay? Comparison is a thief of joy. You don't want to compare yourself. I don't want to compare myself. And I have to work on it this year. Like, catching myself on comparing and then avoid it at all costs. Whether it's by unfollowing the person, whether it's by controlling myself more with what I consume. There are many ways and I think it all depends on what the comparison is, whether it's in real life or it's social media or whatever else. But just catching myself on those behaviors and acting against them is what I definitely want to do this year because it's been taking up a bit too much of my life and of my time. So it's time to change. The next lesson that I want to implement is if you made a vision board and you set your goals, it's time to take action. It kind of seems obvious, doesn't it? It's just like, obviously I set my goals and now it's time to like make them happen. But I feel like we often forget about it and we just like, okay, you know, I had my ritual, I, I prepared my vision board, it's amazing. I put it on my wallpaper, I set all of my goals, I wrote them down, let's get this year started, you know? But we forget that action has to follow. I recently have been reading um, this book called Manifest and basically, you know, I was sitting with my coffee in the morning and I started reading the book and one of the things she was talking about is that, okay, you can set your goals, you can have all of those manifestations and everything, but if you don't take any action, nothing is gonna change. If there is no change, there is no change. I always say that and it just made me realize that there are so many things that I can start doing to bring myself closer to my goals. It doesn't have to be like, there are so many steps that need to happen for you to achieve your goal. It's not just like, okay, one day you're at this point and next day you achieve your goal. There are so many things that are bringing you closer to it and that you have to do. There are so many steps to it, right? And so why not start taking them right now instead of waiting and waiting and be like, oh my God, where, where are my goals? When are they gonna come true? Like, no, take accountability, take action, because it's you who's gonna make it happen. It's not gonna happen out of magic or, you know, the universe, God. You have to take action. Those things, they support you. But at the end of the day, it's you. It's you who's gonna make it happen. So start making decisions that support your goals. Start making decisions that are gonna empower you to be the person that you want to be. For example, for me, it is starting to talk to people. Like, let's say I want to meet more people in my industry. It's not just gonna happen like that. I need to start reaching out to them. Even if I think, okay, I, I don't think they're gonna reply to me. Why not try? I did my best on my side. So now it's all up to my faith or the universe or God to make it happen or not. I did my best. I reached out. That's all I can do. So why don't I do it? Because I'm scared that they're not gonna reply or that I'm scared that, oh, maybe they're gonna say yes and I'm gonna have to go there and actually talk to them. No, like if I want it, if that's my goal, then that's what I have to do, even if it's uncomfortable. Even if the steps that you need to take are uncomfortable, you need to take them because otherwise, how do you want to make it happen? Do you think it's just gonna be like that? No, it's not. So take the steps, take action, because that's what's gonna bring you closer to your goals and eventually gonna make you achieve those goals. The fourth lesson that I want to implement is focus on the step ahead of you, not the whole staircase. I am an overthinker. 
I overthink everything, whether it's my career, whether it's my future, whether it's my relationships I have in my life. It's just literally everything. And I always ask myself, what if this happens or that happens or that? What if, what if, what if? That's all I keep on thinking the whole day. But what is the point? Why do I look so far in the future when all I have is right now, all I have is this day, this moment, and I can do whatever I want with this moment. But if I keep on thinking about the future, then I do nothing with my present, right? I just keep on focusing on what's gonna come. And when it comes, I'm gonna be focusing on what's gonna come next. So it's basically taking up all my energy and putting it in the future instead of putting it in this exact moment. I can put all of my energy, all of my motivation, all of my focus into what's in front of me instead of thinking, oh yeah, what if this happens or that happens in the future? I don't care, I don't know what's gonna happen in the future. There are so many things that can change in one day that it's just impossible to predict anything. It's impossible to plan your way to your success. That's what I had recently. And it's so true. You can't plan every single detail. You just have to trust that it's gonna happen and take every step possible to make it happen. So don't miss those little opportunities that you have by looking in the future and worrying about the future. It's not gonna help. The last and fifth lesson that I am learning this year and I'm practicing this year is dedicate time to yourself every week. Taking a break is better than being burnt out. Rest is something I literally have to plan into my weeks. This is how bad I am with relaxing. And the thing is, I can relax. It's not like I can't. It's more of this thing that for me to relax, I need to have something planned because otherwise I'm gonna end up working or not even working, but thinking about work. So for me, I need to be fully distracted. I need to go out. I need to have fun because otherwise I end up laying on my bed and thinking about work or doing something and thinking about work or brainstorm my ideas or anything like that. And the funny thing about it is that I see the effect that it has on me of not resting enough or not giving myself this time in a day or in a week to just, you know, do something nice for myself, to love myself. I see how it is affecting my creativity, my motivation and my mood, my life in general. I find all of those excuses to why I should be doing this instead of resting. What I want to do this year is I want to really stick to my plan, to my rest plan really plan out activities that are gonna make my rest time really effective and fun and enjoyable for me because to be honest i don't enjoy just sitting at home and doing nothing like this is no rest for me this is basically just hell for me so i want to really put the same effort that i put in work into resting because i know that if i don't i'm gonna burn out i had experienced burnout before and i know how it feels and i know how long it takes it's so much more worth it to just take a break take one day off instead of then having to take months off because you're burnt out but yeah this was my last lesson hopefully all of the lessons that i just uh shared with you guys are gonna be helpful for you are gonna make you reflect on your life and maybe even bring up some changes that you have to make yourself so guys let me know in the comments down below what are the changes what are the lessons that you want to implement into your life this year. I would love to read them all. I read all of my comments. Even if I didn't reply to you, I did see your comments. Thank you so much for watching this video, for staying here with me, for being here. If you have not subscribed to my channel just yet, you can do it down below, as you know. I don't think I have to give you any instructions on that. Um, give it a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and I will see you guys in the next video next week.